what's going on Guardians, TBL here, and earlier today Game Informer came out with a couple of articles talking about some information from Destiny 2. We got to see a little bit of information about the new Arc Strider class for the Hunters, and a new article talking about the direction and narrative of Destiny 2's story. And believe me, there was a lot of information in here, but I'm gonna try to keep it as spoiler free as I can. In this article, Game Informer journalist Matt Miller got a chance to sit down with Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy and discuss the kind of tone that Destiny 2 was going to be taking and what direction they wanted to take the story in. And in that interview, they spoke a lot about the narrative they wanted to put into this game by focusing on a deep and complex villain and sort of weave a tale about what light means to everyone in the Destiny universe, Guardian and non-Guardian alike. Luke Smith states that Destiny 2 is a game about light and what happens when it's taken from you and the lengths that Guardians will go to get it back. They're exploring the relationship between the player and the ghost in terms of light and Gaul's overall coveting of that light. And as such, they wanted to carve off other things that they didn't believe were really important to the release, such as the words darkness, which you might have noticed have been conspicuously missing from a lot of the story elements we've seen thus far. Smith continued by saying that we've never really seen or explored what the darkness means, and ultimately we do owe our players a story there. What is the darkness? But that's not going to be what Destiny 2 is about. Instead, they're going to be focusing more on a tale centered around the light and the manifestation of light and what it means to be chosen as a guardian. And so, in order to do that, rather than focusing on sort of an abstract enemy like the darkness, Bungie decided to make things a little bit more personal by fleshing out the enemy race from Destiny 1 that had the least amount of backstory. And that, of course, was the Cabal. A race of beings that represent a more physical present threat than the abstract mulings of the darkness. And ultimately, that enemy we're going to wind up facing is going to be Dominus Gaul, leader of the Red Legion and coveter of the Traveler's Light. Now, as the article went on to state, as Destiny 2's story unfolds, we'll get direct insight into Gaul and his backstory through scenes specifically about him. One central way that this story is going to be expressed is through interactions with Gaul's mentor, a figure we know only as the Consul, played by Frank Langella, by the way. So yes, Gaul's mentor is literally Skeletor from Masters of the Universe. I found that hilarious. And he'll be serving as a character in this game who helps you to come to understand the enemy that we as Guardians will ultimately have to face. And Mad Guardians is pretty much it for what we learned about the direction of story in Destiny 2. I gotta say, as a big lore junkie myself, I'm a little bit bummed that we're not going to be uh, getting any deeper into what the darkness truly is. There are a lot of ongoing theories about where that particular thread may lead. But it looks like when it comes to Destiny 2, we're getting a more focused, streamlined story with a more relatable villain. And I suppose that's just fine too. Luke Smith finishes up the interview by stating that there may be times where the content will feel dark and hopeless, but Destiny as a franchise is always going to be about hope. And that hope is part of the light that Guardians will be reconnecting with in Destiny 2. Be sure to let us know what you guys think of the narrative change in Destiny 2. Are you psyched to have a more focused villain in Dominus Gaul? What are you looking to get out of Destiny's story? But I'm out for now. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned right here to Planet Destiny where we will be reporting on all of the new Destiny 2 information we're going to be getting out of E3. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty. journey.